to unload the ships for uh, what do you call a $100 run money in the spring, and then we load the salmon back on the ship for another $100 run money. So that's uh, $200 for spring unloading the ship. <laughs> Not, you know, my dad told me when I first started fishing here in Bristol Bay, they were on monthly, monthly salary, and still the fishermen tried to beat one another. Just imagine, on salary. Oh, they finally got paid so much to fish this. First going off, they got uh, two cents for a whole salmon, five cents a salmon. One time I laid out, out, the, out the line and then I drifted in. I got on a bar, and all of a sudden the water was coming from both sides of the boat, and I told my partner, grab a bucket. But we were only stuck for a few minutes, and uh, Tide took us across the bar into deep water. They would say, that's about the closest call I had. Seventeen fishermen uh, got drowned during fishing season, and one deckhand of uh, tugboat, I mean, two of them, eighteen altogether drowned one summer. But most of them, they never uh, trimmed the boat right, so too much fishing is in the swamp. You know, they have them. And then, uh, like I said, uh, they didn't have light preservers. Well, I don't know why. And uh, when, when a boat swamped, and then the boat rolled over upside down, and they had nothing to hang on to. But, uh, the last two years that I've, I've fished at Ecock in the sailboat, I asked the net boys why he would drill a hole down on the bow and under the stern. He said that they are going to run a line all around the bottom of the boat. So if the boat do capsize, fish will have something to hang on to it. If they had that line under the sailboat, they probably would have Were most of the light. fishermen oh, pretty I, happy uh, with that kind of fishing? I or get a chick trill out of sailing, especially when that mast and bend like <laughs> you showed it on TV, the one, one boat that had this uh -huh. mast and bend. So, so about I, how many knots do you think you're going when that mast bends? Oh, I don't know. The boat I had, I'd done pretty good. I I used to pass an Alaska pack of sailboats. That was a uh, Ecock boat, but uh, the Alaska packer boats were kind of bulky, so it didn't sail too good. Like mm -hmm. Ecock. Mm -hmm. I'm retired, but I tell fishermen, uh, go back to sail. Wind power is cheap. I. The way it looked like that, and going to turn, make.